The Arizona Supreme Court, I think it was a five to two decision, if Four I'm not two. mistaken. One Four to two. abstention. Uh, one abstention, exactly. Seven members of this uh, seven member court were appointed by Republican uh, governors. And they have found that a law that is 160 years old, written before Arizona became a state. Now, to be fair, it was recodified in 1912, I think it was, when uh, Arizona joined uh, the union. But the Arizona State uh, Court upheld this 160-year-old law that bans abortions and uh, jails doctors who provides them. Now, in 2021, my understanding is that the state legislature rolled back a part of that law uh, that it would have also put a woman in prison for a year. And, insane. Well, actually, the, the insane part of that is like, why would you let the woman get off the hook? Right. I mean, if you believe that doctors should be jailed for providing an abortion, uh, how would you not implicate uh, the the woman who was seeking an abortion? I mean, uh, even even when it was recodified in 1912, we should say both times this legislation was re-upped or upped women didn't have the right to vote at this time that's true (laughs) so these are these uh these were passed and then reaffirmed before women had suffrage um and uh in 2022 following the uh or i should say prior to the dobbs decision the arizona uh legislature passed a 15-week abortion and the court read that 15-week abortion as being uh, the 15 week abortion ban being essentially, if you break that, extra bad. So it was like uh, larded on top of the no abortion. Um, so the majority ruled that the law passed by the Arizona legislature in 2022 uh, did not repeal the pre statehood law, nor create a right to abortion. Uh, it only basically um, said that additional criminal and regulatory sanctions may apply to abortions performed after 15 weeks gestation. So it basically just uh, presumably was just a way in which people would be more uh, punished for that. Um, This is obviously going to have massive uh, implications in Arizona, but it also shows, I think, why Donald Trump's uh, position on abortion, um, (laughs) despite the fact that he pretended it was, you know, I guess just a, a function of um, of uh, allowing people to maintain abortion rights in states that uh, choose to do so, is that it allows for laws that were written in 1864 uh, to become law of the land. Laws, like you say, Emma, that were written when uh, women didn't even have the right to vote mm-hmm. in this country, but they uh, did have the right to be subjected to uh, men saying that you don't have control over your own bodies. Um, And uh, this is also going to have huge implications for Arizona, which is a swing state and a big uh, Senate race there because um, abortion uh, rights advocates had already been working on a petition to put the question of abortion rights on the ballot to add to the Arizona Constitution, they have already uh, found, or I should say collected, 500,000 signatures out of the 384,000 that they need to get on the ballot. The deadline's in uh, July. What will be really interesting is to see how many more, hundreds of thousands of more, they will get to sign on to this in the next April, May, June, you know, three months. Yeah. And um, what's it really going to, it's gonna have big implications in terms of the presidential election, theoretically, because a lot of those people are gonna come out who are in favor of abortion rights and newsflash, the Republican party is not. Yeah. And the Republican party has had a plank to the extent it has put out a, uh, you know, a uh, platform. Last time it didn't, it just said, we like Donald Trump. 
But the Republican Party has always had a plank, basically saying we need to repeal Roe v. Wade. And you repeal Roe v. Wade because you want to ban abortion. You want to say that women do not have a right to an abortion, and that gives us the opportunity to ban it. And now Arizona has done that. Here is um, uh, Carrie Lake, who is running against uh, Ruben Gallego. And she uh, issued a strong statement Whoa. in opposition to the Arizona Supreme Court ruling on abortion. Here it is. Pop this up. Uh, can you read that uh, better? Yeah. In addition to covering the state of Arizona as a fair and honest journalist for 27 years, I have traveled to every corner of the state on the campaign trail. I speak to more Arizonans than anyone, and it is abundantly clear that the pre-statehood law is out of step with Arizonans. I am the only woman and mother in this race. I understand the fear and anxiety of pregnancy and the joy of motherhood. I wholeheartedly agree with President Trump. This is a very personal issue that should be determined by each individual state and her people. I oppose today's ruling, and I am calling on Katie Hobbs and the state legislature to come up with an immediate common sense solution that Arizonans can support. Uh, ultimately, Arizona voters will make the decision on the ballot come November. That's very true. I'm sure that she would prefer Katie Hobbs to address this via the state legislature before the election as opposed to it going to the polls because their last poll that was done by the New York Times in October found that 59 percent of Arizona registered voters um, support abortion either always or mostly compared to 34 percent who say it should be mostly or always illegal. These are broadly popular rights in the country and in the state of Arizona. Now, What's interesting, uh, there's two things I find interesting about this. One is that Carrie Lake has been saying up until very recently that she was, in fact, uh, I think the governor of, of right. Arizona, uh, <laughs> that uh, somehow Katie Hobbs was uh, just, uh, you know, got in by some Imposter. type of fraud. Or, or yes. yeah, she was, um, maybe the, the servers were acid, acid washed and uh, she wasn't uh, really governor. And then the other weird thing is, is that, now, I don't know if people, uh, we've got a lot of young people who uh, watch this program, so I'm not sure uh, how many people were uh, who watch this program were alive in 2022, because that was <laughs> so long ago. Um, but back in 2022, I know I sound like an old man talking about this, but uh, we had uh, things called debates. And um, back in 2022, Carrie Lake, when she was just a young pup um, who had no life experience, as opposed to today in early 2024. <laughs> um, this is what she had to say in her debate against um, uh, Katie Hobbs. Uh, she's being questioned by PBS Arizona's Ted Simons about this very question. Interesting. Uh, Carrie, we'll start with you on this one. Uh, the new law banning abortion, well, the new law banning abortion in Arizona after 15 weeks. There's that law, and there's a territorial era law which bans all abortion. Zippo, over. Mm -hmm. Which law do you think should take effect? My personal belief is that all life matters, all life counts, and all life is precious, and I don't believe in abortion. I think the older law is going to take a, is going to go into effect. That's what I believe will happen. Okay, but and, but you approve of that? Uh, uh, what at, at conception? I believe life begins at conception. Okay, what do we do about abortion pills? What do we do about? I uh, don't think abortion pills should be legal. That's it, a very not in case. Arizona. Karen, what do you think? That's uh, now clear. I got to apologize. I thought that was the uh, Katie Hobbs. This is actually the Republican primary. So to be fair, it was almost three or four months before uh, he, she debated uh, Katie Hobbs. But uh, there it is, folks. I mean. She has done a 180 degree turn from where she was. Was it was it two years ago? A little bit less. Let's let's go. You know, uh, be fair to her and say two years. Let's, yes. Now, right. I know that's a long, long time ago. Uh, if you were two years old, you'd be four years old today. Yeah, she uh, she she knows that democracy on this front is not her friend. Right. I mean, that's what all of these anti-abortion advocates understand. That's why they spent so much time uh, 
basically stacking the courts with people in their favor. They the, these are these zombie statutes. I've I've heard abortion advocates refer to them as these ancient statutes that they're being revived. That are being revived because direct democracy is all it, it, people are not in favor of this. So they have to go to these old laws like the Comstock Act is the other one that's now endorsed by the Heritage Foundation, an anti-obscenity law on the from the federal level from the 1870s uh, in order to restrict mifepristone and abortion pills from going through the mail. So because they can't actually address the American public and what they want, they have to go to the 1800s before well, women had the right to vote, before, you know, I mean, this was a true. Civil War but, era law. So the, they, the democracy is a threat to this. Yes, but here's the thing. There's a reason why the uh, that law is still on the books as opposed to the part of the law that said a woman go, goes to jail for a year. There's a reason why that law stays on the books and sends doctors to prison is because the Republican Party has controlled that legislature yeah. and does not want to repeal it. And that's why Carrie Lake, when she ran for the uh, for for uh, the governor, wins her primary by saying, I don't care about the 2022 uh, law or uh, 20, you know, the 2022 law that's just been passed. We got to go back to the original one because I believe that life starts at conception. So no abortion, no circumstances, never. That's what Carrie Lake actually wants. No morning and, after pill, maybe. No morning. At, I, I mean, listen, uh, well, that's arguable. Right. But. I mean, it depends on where they decide conception actually begins. Mm -hmm. I would I would bet that many of them say conception begins as soon as um, copulation starts. Right. And uh, sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't, because then you're starting to get into science. And it's really mm -hmm. just a question of God's will at any point anyways. But the fact of the matter is, this is the Republican position. And they can say that they have a different position, but there is absolutely no reason to believe that when they were in power, they would not be voting for this. But we will uh, talk more about this as the show progresses.